Just messing with my phone. As you do when you're streaming. It is moving, right? Let's see. And I'm sure the sound's off and all manner of craziness. So we'll have to listen in and see how if it syncs up. <clears throat> oh, the joys of streaming. <laughs> Especially when you're going from an Elgato or from a SNES Mini into an Elgato into a Mac Mini. Anything can happen. <laughs> Into the GameCraft HD software, into OBS, or no, into an RTMP server, into OBS. Wow. Nothing can go wrong in that chain of events. I mean, really. It's like foolproof. Full proof. Bulletproof, even. Would that be the same, th same thing? Is foolproof and bulletproof ostensibly and like colloquial, colloquially the same thing? I feel like it might be. Kind of like saying if you're, if someone says, are you up for that? Or are you down for that? It's pretty much the same thing, which doesn't make any sense because they're the opposite directions. One should mean one and one should mean the other. Let's have some consistency, right? Right, guys? I think you, you agree with me. Okay, let's, let's check this out. One viewer, who's watching? <laughs> Um, now I'm going to engage in some sound testing because that's what this stream is for. Checking to make sure your, your sound works and is synced and all. Let's see. Come on. Okay. So, one, two, Three, snap. Now I'm looking at my phone. Hey, Geek Devotions. So the audio's ahead, it looks like, by a little bit. So, what's up, what's up? Well, you were, you were alive when that was a thing, right? Uh, just a second. Delay my sound a little bit because my sound's coming in ahead of my. Half a second. Hopefully that's a bit better. Ah, my controller just fell. Fun times all around. Audio one second ahead. You think it's a whole second? It may be. One, two, three. You are alive. Oh my goodness. Now it's too, now it's delayed too much. Oh my gosh. Make up your mind, computer. Right away. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll try this again. For a third time's a charm, maybe? Maybe? One. Two, three, snap. That's close enough for me. There's a little, little, just a slight little bit of a delay, but I'm happy with it. <sighs> okay, let's go back to view dashboard please thank you all right welcome stop go away welcome so close <laughs> welcome rewinders and retro lovers if you're looking to make friends who love uh, or enjoy games from the 16-bit era the high bit era and who also enjoy movies from the 80s and 90s then this is the stream for you my name is francisco and tonight we're playing final fantasy 3 which is the ninth game in snes quest where i try to beat every game that comes stock on the Super Nintendo Classic, that little mini console. And I don't know what to do. I mean, I was supposed to do something here with this clock, I thought, but apparently not. Uh, so now I'm really confused as to what I need to do. 
How are you doing tonight, Geek Devotions? I didn't get a chance to to watch all of your uh, Geek Devotion uh, today. I think you guys released a bit late. Not that I'm judging or anything. I just think that's one of the reasons I didn't watch the whole thing. Though I did see your extreme eye close-up. Had no idea you had green eyes. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. But how are you tonight otherwise? Okay, I'm in a merchant suit. And I think I still need to somehow get to somewhere. Let's see. Maybe maybe some new dialogue has opened up because I've I've done some like mini quests in this town to open up some extra areas because right now it's the Gestapo is like hovering over everything, so I can't get every everywhere I want to go. Um, so I'm trying to make it a bit better. Or try and expand or get to where I need to be, but I'm still not really sure what that where that is. Oh, a bit late. Four hours late. No worries. You got it out. On a Friday. You, you've you committed to Fridays. I don't think you guys committed to a time, necessarily. My eyes change color today. They are brown. What? They change color? Are you a chameleon? Are you sure your favorite color shouldn't be... Favorite color. Favorite animal shouldn't be a chameleon, not a panda. Dallas Marshall... Dallas Chameleon... Pan, Dallas Chameleon Marshall Mora. Yeah, that's it. Go with that. Cut print. I'm sure there are a hidden passage under the rich man's house. Find the room that's... Okay, so I need to find a room that's drafty. That's what I was looking for. Totally forgot to look for a drafty room. Or is that how... Maybe that is how I got the room. Now I'm not so sure. Okay, I'm looking for a drafty room in the rich man's house. Remember that. Drafty room, rich man's house. By the way... If you weren't here last time, I found the whole cider thing. That one guy that wanted cider that one time got, got him some cider. And he gave me clothes, I think. Or no, he was able to open up a secret passage, <clears throat> which I needed to get to. By the way, my cold's nearly gone. But, of course, when I'm streaming, that's when it wants to act up. So hold on. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better, at least for a while. Okay, can't get up there. Um, let's see, can I think I can get over here now, though? Right? Am I right about that? Is this passageway over here? No, it's not open up. Darn it. Hello, we normally upload at 4 p.m. Oh, okay. Well, it was like 4 p.m. my time when it seemed to upload. If that's any consolation. Though you guys are two hours ahead. So, I guess I must be wrong in my math or something. No, no, I guess I... No, I, that's right. I did see it after work, which would have been after five my time. So, never mind. Yeah, G's so late, man. Ugh. <laughs> okay, yeah, here's where the kid is, which is the way I get to the rich man's house. Um, do I have to talk to you again? And give him... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the password... I just try. I save stated it to figure out the right password, but it's um, faithful, I think. What's the password? Oh, courage. It's that's what it's not. Not faithful. It's courage. Thank you for that secret entrance. I so desperately needed it. I didn't need that though. Can you give me the secret entrance again? I think. I think that's what I need. Maybe I'm wrong. Do I do I need something else? I don't think so. I think this is what I want. Yeah, I go downstairs and I end up. Oh yeah, I. Fortunately, I don't have to fight any enemies down in the sewers of the town. Okay, now this is the rich man's house, which makes sense. So it seems. So I'm looking for a drafty room. A drafty room. Also trying to see if there's any items. Nothing. Okay. So can't go this way? No, okay. So here's that. Now where am I? Oh yeah, I'm over here. Okay. So a drafty room is where I'm looking what I'm looking for. Okay. This doesn't look like a drafty room. Imperial troops have turned the house into their headquarters. And you might notice I put the role playing tag in my uh Yeah, no enemies. <laughs> in my or under as one of my tags. 
that's because I do the voices. I feel like that's role play enough. I know I'm not in cosplay or anything. Maybe someday I'll get a wig. I think that'd be fun. But I, at present, I'm not doing that. Thanks to our informer, this town fell instantly. Thanks to our... Okay, yeah, I, I heard that already. Okay, there's one upstairs over here. Which I was in. I just came out from over there. I don't think I can go out this way, though. Yeah, I can't go out that way. So we'll go back upstairs, and I'm still looking for a drafty room. Is there a dr is there a drawing room when someone drafts? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. If only I can find it. Man, where is it? Where is that draft room? So nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, and um, I don't think the music just turned off. I just don't think there is music in this in this place for some reason okay this room doesn't look drafty necessarily okay chug 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 magitech armor and then someone told me something about a clock was it you kid no okay it's a girl i think I said something about armor wind the clock wind the clock uh that's just a jump rope rhyme see and i went to where i thought i saw a clock but then it, it didn't do anything so i think that was a f like a red herring or something i don't know what happened Okay, I don't see any other entrances or anything here. Let me out, let me out. Try and get out of here. Drafty room. And this is the... Oh, this must be the drafty room. I'm hearing a draft. Interesting, okay. What have I done? I betrayed the town and I didn't even need the money. Nice, Judas. Okay, this is the drafty room. What am I supposed to do here? I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh wait, no, they said there's a secret entrance underneath the drafty room, I thought. But this is upstairs, how do I get underneath it? Ugh, puzzles, when I can't solve them. Usually I'm fairly decent at puzzles, but I don't know, I'm, I'm not having a really good go of it this time. Click on everything. I'm trying to click on everything. Here's the button. It's going. I'm button mashing. Who ever thought of... Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's just a matter of going behind that bookcase. Just hidden. Just hidden. Just out of sight. All right, here we go. And just confirm for me, Dallas, that you can't hear the music. Please, because I know that was an issue last time. Change clothes. Uh, I guess we'll go with these are fun. I really don't know. I'm dressed as a merchant. I stole someone's clothes in a fight. Ha 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 ha. They shouldn't have fought me. Wait, what are you doing? Let me go. I've seen her before, of course. She's one of the Empire's generals. Who... Who's this? Oh, oh, he can see into the door. Oh, music is good. Sweet. <clears throat> That's what happens to traders. <laughs> hmm, what does change clothes do? Well, this is Palzo, and Palzo typically is in this, like, blue garb. But since I stole someone's... I needed to steal a merchant's clothes so I could walk around without getting hassled by the... Gestapo in this town so that's that's uh, why it is asking if I wanted to change into my normal clothes room proc of a genetic engineering battle a hardened magitech knight with a spirit as pure as snow huh Celes hmm sounds like someone I know what do you think should we go with uh, Celeste or something else? I don't know if you've ever seen um, the anime uh, Geek Devotions, Record of Lotus, Lotus War, Lodos War. It's probably, if you're looking at it, you probably would say Lodos, but I think I always pronounce it Lodos. Record of Lotus War had an elf character in there, and her name was Deedlit. Deedlit. So a part of me just 
her uh, character design makes me think of that character, but I'm all about going with Celeste, if you think that would work. Cool name? Okay, we'll go with it. But let's, none of this, not Celeste! Let's, let's do our normal, normal casing here. And I'm hearing my daughter cough, so that's not great. She's been having some issues recently with that. Never watched it, but read a few issues of the manga. Oh, cool. Nice. Celeste. We'll go with that. Because I don't think I get any more than those six letters, unfortunately. Black. Come on. What, would seven letters kill you, game? Now, the trick. Sounding like Celeste. <laughs> so the Maya Celeste has fallen. Ha 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 ha. Christy is home. How can you serve those cowards? Hold your tongue. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it true Kefka's going to poison the people of Doma to the east? <laughs> Shut up. He's beating her up. Yeah, he is rude. I'd hate to be in your shoes tomorrow. Keep, keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir. I can go days without sleep. <laughs> Geek Devotion says, hi, Christine. She says, hi. Oh. Oh, no. Like, no one listened? Christy's telling me about martial arts class. Goodness. Apparently, all the kids Chrissy was teaching were like cats tonight. Worse than cats. Demon possessed cats. Which, I mean, cats are already demons. So. <laughs> I'm not so much a cat person. Okay, let's go in and help. Hey, Eva, come to. Let's see, I knew you'd be sleeping. I can go do those sleep, yeah. Uh huh. To remove her and my mind went somewhere where I'm like, what is this game? Oh, chains. Okay, good. I'm glad it said chains. <laughs> wait a few minutes. I guess we could wait a few minutes. I'm not sure what that would do. It's like a false choice. It's like, is that really gonna do something? Oh, does it wake him up? Oh, he is he awake now? No. Yeah, I'll remove her chains. I guess. I don't know what else to do. What do you hope to pa pedal down here? Oops, I forgot I was wearing these clothes. I'm with the Returners. Name's Palzo. Geek Devotions. No bueno. Make all those uh, babies kids do taxes. Texas torture for 15 <laughs> minutes? I have no idea what Texas torture is. Is that a thing? Returners? I used to be General Celeste. Now I'm just a common trader. Do I sound like Celeste? Do I? I th I'm sure I sound just like her, right? Like, you're like, whoa, is Celeste in Oregon playing this game? It's amazing. It's just amazing. For those that don't know, Celeste is Geek Devotion's wife. Geek De Devotion being Dallas. Unless, unless Celeste is manning the Geek Devotion's controls, which is entirely possible. Let's go. You take me along? Thanks, but no thanks. I can barely walk. I'm grateful, but even if you got me out, you'd never be able to protect me. No, I think I'm better off here. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Let's go. Wait. Are you going to beat that guy? This soldier has something important on him. There's a clock key in his pocket. A clock key. Okay, so that was the TikTok thing. Ticket. Stealing is wrong. Yeah, because yeah, I'm a treasure hunter. I'm sure that key is some treasure. So we, we need to... It belongs in a museum, of course. So we're just trying to get the key back to the museum. I mean, we'll use it first. But then, right to the museum right after that. I mean, really. Right after. 
took the clock key. Ah! And some bread, too. Mumble, mumble. <laughs> That's funny. Still not enough? More soup and... Uh... Hey, Record Warrior. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> now, I wonder if there's any people over in these. Oh, save point. Nice. Now I finally have at least two people in my party. That's it's been rough having just Paul's though. <clears throat> um, we'll save yeah over this one. Geek devotions. Uh, do a forward lunge. Lower your stretches. Oh, oh, this is the Texas torture. Do a forward lunge. Lower your stretches. Lower your stretches out knee and stretch out knee until it's six inches from the floor. Lower your stretched out knee. Would that be your back knee if you're doing a forward lunge, I think? Um, then hold both arms out and your elbows bent up like that, I think. You used to have to do that when we were in trouble in Taekwondo. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, so I'm, Christy's going to demonstrate. Uh, do a for, forward lunge. I don't think that's a forward lunge, is it? And then stretch out the, your knee until it's six inches from the floor. Yeah, back knee. Oh, so your back knee needs to be six inches from the floor. Yeah, so lunge. So even, yeah, I guess lower than that. And then, yeah, you're then both hold both oh arms out, and your elbows bent up. You know, like that? I don't know, something like that, I guess. I, I guess you're twisting your shoulders or maybe like this or like that's I don't know describe better geek devotions <laughs> anyway let's continue shall we <clears throat> this isn't Final Fantasy calisthenics it's Final Fantasy 3 for those that didn't know Ooh, more stuff to lift. Oh, oh, there's a clock in here. Okay, so maybe it's this clock. If I can get through somehow. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, 500. Sweet. Oh, I, I'll do them when I'm done. I didn't switch them when they're supposed to. Oh, I don't remember that at all. I'm sorry. I messed up, guys. I didn't take the clothes out of the dryer. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, my, my wife's back is hurting, so I'm trying to help her, but I forgot to do something. Oh my gosh, fat piggy geek, geek, geek. When Chrono Trigger stream? Well, I don't have, unfortunately, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger, geek, 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 isn't on the SNES Classic. I know, I was thinking when I was originally uh, like wanting to get it, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play Chrono Trigger again. But it's not on this, you get... The RPGs on this are Legend of Zelda Length of the Past, Final Fantasy 3, and then Secret of Mana, which I've never played Secret of Mana or Final Fantasy 3, so it's a cool game to play those. But how are you doing, fat piggy gig gig gig? And so I got, I stole a, a key, which belongs in a museum, so I was actually treasure hunting it. I didn't steal it, I'm trying to get it back to the museum, but before that, I'm going to use it. I think on the clock. An old clock. It's ticking. Okay, well, I want to use the key. How do I use the key? Is it in this long list of items, which are ridiculously long? Long list is long. Oh, my gosh, really? Wh why? Why? <laughs> Whose backpack is that deep? Let's see. Uh, Fat Picky Gig Gig says, I don't think you ever beat that game. I have never got... Uh, closure from watching you play when we rented it in 1996. Oh, are you talking about Chrono Trigger? Yeah, I never got closure either. But I think um, if you want to watch someone play through it, there's uh, I think Living Fire Gaming on YouTube. You might have to search for Consuming Fire Gaming. They recently changed their name to Living Fire Gaming. But he did play through of Chrono Trigger, I believe. So if you're desperate to watch someone play through Chrono Trigger, you could watch him. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone else that would be playing it, but if I ever do get Chrono Trigger, uh, E fat, I mean fat piggy gig gig gig, I will, I will let you know so you can watch. And apparently there's no 
key in here. So I don't know why I'm supposed to... Uh, it's still ticking. Great. But I can't do anything with it. Maybe there's another clock I need to do. I need to get. Oh, here's a treasure chest, I think. Man, I'm making out like a... Like a thief. Uh-uh. See? Because he's a thief. It's hilarious, guys. Comedy is comedy. Man. Empty. Lame. <coughs> Maybe this clock back here is the one I want? No clock, it's not ticking. Oh, okay, wind the clock? Sure, let's wind it, see what happens. Geek Devotions, I may start, oh, streaming Chrono Trigger next week? Oh, sweet, so there you go. Uh, fat pick a gig, -gig uh, follow, here, I'll do a shout out. For Geek Devotions. I mean, not, not that it'd be hard to just click on his name and follow him, but in case you'd like to check him out. Geek Devotions. I think that works right. Yep. Uh, let's see. Any Mega Man games on the SNES class? Yes, Mega Man X, which I actually played through already. I beat it. Uh, let's see. Uh, you see down below, right down there, uh, it was the second game. It's, they're golded out, so you can't really see it. But yeah, there's Super Mario World, then Mega Man X was the second uh, the second game I beat. So I already played through those, unfortunately. But uh, yes, Mega Man X is on the SNES menu. Okay, something happened. Oh, the door. That door appeared over there by the by the wardrobe. And spare oom. Um. Okay, I just, I don't, I don't know what's over here. Hopefully I'll find something in this town that's helpful. It's, you know what's funny? Uh, Fat Piggy Gig Gig, I was just referencing um, Record of the Lotus War a little bit earlier. And I know you and I were fans of that uh, anime early when it came on early, early in, on the sci-fi channel. Back when we were growing up. Ha ha, I stole a tonic. Man. Uh, let's see, what magic do you have? Cure, oh, give me a, yes, cure me, please. <coughs> and now fight. Woot. Anyway, so I was mentioning Record of Lodos War, or Lodos War, because uh, this girl, Celeste, that I named, I thought looked like Deedlet from that. So I'm curious if you think, just by the little pixel character, if you feel the same way. Uh, let's see. Tell Christy to check Discord. Uh, Big Diversion says to check Discord. I don't know why. She said, okay. Record of Lodos. That's not a name I have heard in a long time. Wait, you died? I, I wasn't paying attention. I was relaying information from chat to my wife, to the missus. So I think I had to blame... I think Devotion is to blame for Celeste's death, which is kind of ironic. Sad day. I mean, yeah, I can see it, but <laughs> fine. That's fair. That is fair. It's just sort of marginally, it looks like her, of course. Okay. I think I have a phoenix down. Oh, that's interesting. When, when a character is, I guess, dead or knocked out, their eyes are closed. I didn't notice that before. That's a cool little touch. Um, item. Phoenix down. On you. Wait. Oh, I guess her eyes were just closed in general. Never mind. <laughs> Shows how much I was paying attention. Uh, let's see. Rugged Warrior says save state. Oh, oh, is someone coming? Okay. Okay, that's um, a good idea. I, I'll save state it. Uh, let me... By, let me push it up here. Yeah, on both of them. Okay. Okay. And we'll save state. Because apparently something's coming. Rugged Warrior is like, something's coming. Um, Why? Press and hold. Okay. And then Geek Devotions. Loved when I would come to Shreveport as a kid because my family had cable here, which means I could watch Saturday morning sci fi channel anime. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, Fat Picky Gig Gig says, I, li I liked Record of Lodos back in the day. Berserk is probably my favorite anime of all time, though. I only remember watching, like, the first episode of Berserk. I never watched it anymore, so maybe I should check that out again. Received Iron Armor. Yes. Let's equip it. Uh, let's see. Iron. Only Leather. Ooh, there we go. There we go. I'm sure that increased my stats, I would imagine. I mean, how could it not, right? Yes. Even better. Um, 
So Geek Devotions, Rugged Warrior. If you, I know Geek Devotions watches anime, but um, if Rugged Warrior, if you, I don't know if you do, but if you do, what are what's your favorite anime of all time? If you can na- uh, narrow it down to one, uh, I've heard of great things about Berserk. Says Geek Devotions, Rugged Warrior. I have no idea. I was making a joke. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's fine. Rugged Warrior. Oh, that's funny, though. Uh, Geek Devotions, you should go watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> runic? What's a runic? I have no idea what that is. I guess we'll check it out. Uh, Geek Devotions, is it imperative that Christy checks Discord now? Because she's having issues with that. I'm not sure what Celeste did, but... Cool. Okay, no worries. Uh, choo, 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 choo. Uh, Fat Pig Gig says, Haha, yeah, I remember Kay saying you watched the first or second episode of Berserk, and it was like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, for whatever reason, I just didn't really get into it. But, I mean, if I did that for most animes today, I'd never get into an anime. Like, if I did that for something like Attack on Titan, I'd never get into it, because, like, eh. This is kind of lame. The main character's lame. All the main, the main characters are usually lame in the first, the first episode. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Fat Pick, it, it, it. it's one of those that starts slow. I'm talking about Berserker, but gets better and better until it's the greatest anime you have ever seen. Awesome. And then that's high praise right there. Geek Diversion's hard question. Maybe Tenchi Mu, Mu- Tenchi Muyo. I think that's how you pronounce it. What do you like about Tenchi Muyo, uh, Geek Devotions? Uh, Fat Piggy Geek Berserk, there's an old version and a newer version. Both are good, but I prefer the old version for any here who are interested in seeing it. Okay, good. Thank you for suggesting that. I definitely know uh, Geek Devotions would be interested in that. And Rugged Warrior never watched anime, though. Uh, Empty chest? Why is there an empty chest there? Heavy shield, nice. And regal cutlass. Ooh. Let's equip some more. Oh, oh yeah. I'm like, why is there all this good stuff down here? Oh, this is the basement of the rich man of this town. Apparently. Ooh, good. She got the regal cutlass. Nice. Awesome sauce. Okay. Ah, more guys. Why, who led these enemies down here? Jeez, I still don't know what Ronick is, but I guess we'll see. Okay, can you can you give me some indication as to what that does? Because I don't know. <sighs> okay, I'll uh, cure. Because yeah, Celeste is going. It's pretty low on health here. So, Rigged Warrior, you don't really watch anime. Do you ever play, uh, I know you play uh, Kingdom Hearts. Do you ever play uh, JRPGs, though? Because those are kind of anime-ish. I don't think Kingdom Hearts would be considered a JRPG, but maybe it is. I don't know for sure. Hiya! Those are some pretty good, some pretty good hits. I'm glad that I got them the upgraded blades. <clears throat> Three nineteen, good. Um, yeah, I guess up here, but I feel like I'm sort of not sure where to go now. Like I've hit everything, all the areas of this underdwelling place. Okay. Oh, oh wow! I realize they're one shotting. Because it seemed like the first time I was attacking these guys, I wasn't one-shotting them. So that's interesting. Well, all right, that that's one way to go. And let's use Cure. Since you have it in your back pocket there, Celeste. Cure me and you. Ah, uh, let's see. Geek Divisions. I like Tenchi for mostly nostalgic reasons. But the humor and the story is fun. I'm hoping to find a Blu-ray box set of the series one day. I have the first movie and the OAV, but none of the series that played stateside. But not the series that played stateside. Well, was it a different series altogether or just edited differently? 
kind of like how Voltron Go Lion was a, the Voltron um, Defenders of the Universe was a different cut of Go Lion from Japan. That's interesting. She got a really low hit that time. I wonder why. There we go. That's much better. Red Warrior says, yeah, Kingdom Hearts is JRPG. I played a couple Final Fantasy and starred Nier Automata. I don't know what that is. What's what's Nier Automata? Sounds like an onomatopoeia. Oh, I guess there is more down here. Jeez. Okay. Oh, or nothing in there? Oh, oh, it's like a secret passageway. That's, I think, I think that's what I'm finding down here. A vector pup, huh? Huh. I, I, one of the classes that I, I think I, did I fail it? No, I got a D in it, so I had to retake it. it was linear algebra in college? I could not, I mean, I, calculus I got fine. Linear algebra I was so hard for me to wrap my head around. Vectors and matrices, ugh, gosh. No, thank you. I'm glad I'm not, I mean, I am, there is some of that. Wait, I thought there was a secret, I thought this was a secret passage. This does nothing. I go nowhere. That's wonderful. I'm so glad there's this area to nothingness over here. Geek Devotion says, After the OAV came out, they reset the story, reworked the characters, and made a full series instead of a mini-series. Plus, the full series is a bit more appropriate than the OAV. Oh, okay. Nice. Why will you all help me? You remind me of someone. Who? But what's it matter anyway? I just wanna I just want to, okay? Hope you can get calculus just I hope you get can get calculus just fine. He's normally on the floor next <laughs> Yeah, he's down here, I think. Yeah, yeah Francisco, you with your cold you never got me out anymore. What is this game you're playing now? Okay. This is Final Fantasy three. Unfortunately, you block my light when we do this now. Well, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to. It's you have this setup and you need a light up there, don't you think? Well, yeah, that would be nice to have a... Oh, see, you're not even camera. Look at that. Oh. Hello. Am I in camera now? Yes, you're in camera now. Oh, good. Hi, guys. I'm Calculus, in case you weren't sure. See, because it's a pun. Calculus. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you still can't see me very well. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's better, I think. Oh, wait, I'm outside. You're outside now. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention because I was getting you. Oh, I distracted you. I distracted you. Are you done, Calculus? Yeah, I'm done. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, hey, hello, Panda Man. <laughs> oh, hello, Panda Man. It's your day. <laughs> uh, let's see. He says, what up? Oh, what up, Kaku? What up, Bobby? Let's see. Um, Rigged Warrior says, Nier Automa is action JRPG that takes place in the future during a war of humans versus robots. Like the Terminator. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the backside where I wanted to be. Oh, good. Now I can actually leave. Fantastic. Okay. I can leave the town. Ha ha. Hey, hey, I'm down here. You can't get me. You can't get me. Neener, neener, neener. That, that's appropriate, right? Okay, now where do I want to go? Now that I'm way up here, so I was down in some stream to get up here, and now, now I'm not sure why I want to be up here. Like, where am I trying to get to now? I don't really remember. I, I have the mini map down in the lower corner, right down. Let's see if I can point right. Oh, let's see. There's a delay in camera, so I'm not sure. Yeah, right there. But I'm not sure, you know, what cities are what, or if the map changes on me. I don't know. <coughs> ah, kill this rhino, rhino tar. Kill him. Get him. There we go. Uh, how's FF3 going? I've missed being on the streams. We've missed having you, Lopan, but I'm glad you're here now. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, really interesting story. Some really, really like hit you in the feels moments. Um, some fun moments. Some silly moments. Uh, if um, I'm trying to do streams on Saturday mornings. Uh, which I think you're t I think you're two hours ahead of me. I'm Pacific. So um, I usually start my Saturday morning stream at 4.30 a.m. 
which would be 6.30 a.m. Central. So I don't know if that'd be easier for you. I'm, I'm toying with the idea, guys. Let me know what you think of uh, trying to incorporate something since it's Saturday morning, something like Saturday morning cartoon-esque. I'm not sure if that's like talking about a Saturday. There's a, a podcast that uh, Paul and I have listened to every so often. We've actually had the host on called Saturday, Saturday Morning Rewind. So I'm considering like listening to an episode each week and talking about it. And like that will be wherever, wherever voiceover artists they interview, we can talk about one of their cartoons and talk about what we what we remembered about that cartoon. Uh, if you listen to the podcast too, talking about the things that were interesting from that podcast. I don't know. I, that's just been something that's sort of been toying around in my head. Not sure if it would actually work out, but... Oh, Red right, right. I listen to Saturday Morning Rewind. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, if you wanted to be a part of that, you'd have to get up really, really early like me. Because <laughs> I know you're West Coast too, uh, Rugged. Uh, just, just, just. Geek Devotions. I miss Saturday Morning Cartoons. Darn parent group killed all the joy for kids, right? Right. Jeez. Why are you stealing our joy? 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday. You crazy, man. 4.30 on a Saturday is even crazier. But I do it for you guys. I do it for you. For you. Don't feel guilty. I'm just letting you know who I, who I do it for. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this cave. I don't know what this cave is for. If I even need to be in. Actually, let's explore around before I try the cave. I'm sure if I was playing this game like all in one big sitting, I'd remember a lot of, oh yeah, this was this area, this was that area. But unfortunately, I don't remember a lot of this. Oh, I need a heal. Man, I am almost close to death. Oh gosh. Could you just have killed him so that I wouldn't have to use the phoenix down? Oh good, at least you attacked that person. Um, Paul's own instead of Celeste. I keep yeah, I'm not getting up until at least 7.30 tomorrow. Well, you guys are up late right now, so that makes sense. So I get it. No worries. And I would do it later in the day, but I can't. My kids get up really early. My kids get up at like 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. So for me to do it at all, I'd have to do it earlier. Ooh, what's this town? Is this the first town I started with? Oh, this, oh, this is the guy, I think. No, wait, this is something else. I think it's a different guy. Uh, Low Pan the Man, Saturday Morning Rewind? Yeah, so that's a podcast where the main host, Tim Nidell, uh, they usually uh, will, he'll interview a voiceover artist who has a voice of a uh, cartoon from your childhood. Like, let's see. He, when he, so we had him on for, we had Tim Nidell, the host of this podcast, on for our Chipmunk Adventure episode. And um, though one of his, one of Saturday Morning Rewinds that I listened to before that was when he interviewed the guy who, was one of the voiceover characters for the bad guys in Chipmunk Adventure. And just going to hear a lot about his, this guy's, this actor's background, what he did. He's mainly a stunt coordinator. So it's just fascinating hearing this guy's story. And so I thought that might be an interesting outlet and I might see if we do some sort of cross promotion with Tim if we end up doing something like that. But that's what that podcast is about. Lopin Man or Retro Sunday Pod, Saturday Pod. It would be something like that. It'd be a, the crossover of epicness. Geek Devotions, why are they up so early? There's no cartoons anymore. Right? Right? Exactly. I have no idea. Great question. Well, because they, they got that from their dad who wakes up early and they like to play too. So, using their imagination. Oh, thank you for the host, Lusty. No, I'm, I'm glad they, they have the imagination they do, but I wish they would sleep. It'd be nice. Uh, okay, I, I, want to, I thought I could pick this turnip or this lettuce, but apparently I can't. I, I, did, I mean, I didn't want to anyway. Meh. Okay, what's in here? Anyone? Anyone home? Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, received a tonic. So I can still steal. Oh, I didn't mean to sleep. That's weird. Is someone going to wake up next to me now? 
No, no one's looking over me. That's at least that's nice. Oh, okay. Apparently, I'm just gonna keep sleeping the days away. I'm tired, guys. Tired, tired, tired. Rugged Warrior says, um, Saturday morning rewind and retro rewind. And I thought Infinity War was the most epic crossover. <laughs> Aw. Thank you. That's really kind of you, Rugged. Like I said, I, it's just me sort of thinking out loud. I haven't talked to Tim about anything like that. I, I, I mean, he couldn't stop me from discussing his podcast on the stream if I wanted to, but it seems like it'd be nice if he would help promote that if he if I was going to do it. And I, I may decide there's a, a different way to use that time. Or maybe just maybe it's just fun. Maybe you guys just enjoy watching me play. Maybe that's all it has to be. Mm -mm. Come on, get these. What are these? The are these the grease monkey? That funky monkey, grease. Oh, grease monk. Excuse me. Grease monk, that holy monk. That doesn't work. Come on, Beastie Boys. I need a, I need a remix for this. Wow, the timers went wild right there. Oh, you did the social link. That's what happened. I'm like, man, why are my timers just doing everything? Oh, and you did the merch one too. By the way, welcome, Lusty. You are currently the blonde right here. I know you're a redhead, but named after you. You're welcome. Just just you wait till you hear uh, me voicing her. It's, it's remarkably like you. I mean, it's like uncanny. Might as well be you, really. Mount Colts. Okay, so I'm in a completely different continent. See, this is why I'm confused. I'm in. I don't think I'm. I think I'm in a completely different place from where I when I first started the game. Even though the map looks the same, so that's why I'm so confused. The Empire has taken possession here. Good for the Empire. Get out of my way. Why can't I just fight him? Boom! 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 Ugh, more grease monks. I, no, what what'd you do? Did you what happened just now? Loaded wrench. Apparently I can't dodge a ball because I can't dodge these wrenches. Shucks. Let's see. Actually, the red comes from a bottle. The bottle is quite fitting. <laughs> the blonde is quite fitting. Oh <laughs> that's funny. I didn't realize you you, you weren't a natural red. Uh down with Empire, says Geek Devotions. Yes, down with Empire. And their Death Stars. <laughs> Jeez, can you believe these Death Stars, guys? Oh my gosh. Powered by Magitech. Okay, can we fight something else? Can I, also, can I figure out what rune, uh, Runic is? Low Panda, if you can dodge a wrench, you, yes, exactly. Exactly, Low Panda Man. You got it. Uh, how is how are you guys' uh, low pan the man rugged? How, well, I think I that, I think low pan the man. It's been uh, I never heard how your New Year's was. Did you did you stay up till midnight, or did you do anything festive like that? <laughs> also, for those of you who have been listening to the podcast and haven't let me know, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Hold on. Okay, I think my voice is back. <clears throat> what do you think of the whole uh, audio drama bits that we've been doing in the past uh, several episodes, if you've heard them? Uh huh. I'm not sure where to go now. Oh no! Not Rodoxes. They're the worst. Because they're like raccoon mice. And why is that the worst, you ask? I don't know. It just is. Look at me. They're looking at me with their beady eyes. Which is interesting. <clears throat> oh, I... Well, okay, I'll pause. I Good, I can pause. So, I'm going to examine pixel art here for a second, guys. <clears throat> so, the, the Rodex, the guy who the, the finger's pointing at... It's interesting how you see if you look at the the darkest pixels, it's really just like a three by three. It's it's a, a, a three three pixels on the top, three pixels on the bottom, three pixels on either side, 
and those aren't touching. There's like a corner mixing. If you were, if you wanted to, to link them up, it'd be a five by five box, but the corners of that five by five box are missing. So it looks rounded. And then they add anti-aliasing too on the, on the edges, like the, the middle, the middle squares, there's a sort of semi dark pixel on the side, on one side, which makes it look rounded there. And then on the bottom, there's a dark shading. And then, so you really, it's interesting how just that you get this effect that's a circle, even though it's, it's clearly a box. I mean, clearly. And that pupil, so boxy. But just this is a f interesting thing, interesting how, how the artists have been able to figure out what to do with the pixels that you have to sort of fool your eye. And especially if, this, if you're watching this on a CRT, it would look even more circular because of just how it blurs the the um rods and the rods i think that's what they oh no the light guns together <clears throat> anyway way more than i bet you wanted to know but five comment since i have uh, some expertise in that field <laughs> you're right shut up calculus <laughs> don't mock me uh let's see Oh, thank you, Geek Devotions. Okay. Runic absorbs the first magic attack that happens against you to replenish your health. Oh, thank you. That's so helpful. Thank you. Thank you. A little pen man. Yeah, but laying in bed playing a game, we hung out with... Oh, oh. Oh, oh. This is what you did during New Year's. Yeah, but laying in bed playing a game is what you did. Uh, we hung out with friends early in the evening. Yeah, we did the same thing. We played uh, board games with some, some friends. Uh, Geek Devotions, I have enjoyed the audio bits. Kenny can't wait till the next episode. Me too. I wonder, but I think you're a bit biased there. <laughs> Geek Devotions. Lope and the Man, the more you know. The more you know. Exactly. Uh, Geek Devotions, hello. Welcome to Francisco Critiques and Explains Epic <laughs> Pixel Art. That was pretty interesting. Okay, I'm glad you liked that. Really, if I was on the ball, I would have totally gone into my Bob Ross voice, but totally, totally missed the opportunity. Jeez. Okay, well, you know what? I guess I'm going to go in this cave because that's all that's left. Rugged Warrior says, at the Walt Disney World 10K. Oh, you were at the Walt Disney 10K this morning? They had uh, Chip and Dale in their Rescue Rangers outfits? That's awesome. Where's Paul? Well, I mean, he's in. I know where Paul is. Where in the world is Paul J. Powers? What is happening right now? It's like a door opened or something. A trilobiter and a primobite. Oh my gosh. This is not good, guys. Not good. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going to happen here. Not, not good. Kill myself. Make it good. Geek Devotions. I hear the next RRP is going to be super. <laughs> There's a little hat tip there. Uh, Lusty, I've enjoyed the audio bits as well. The audio drama for the next one is fun. Yeah, I've, I've listened to it. It is a lot of fun. Um, especially the, the bit the guest host did. Very, very fun. <coughs> uh, let's see. Regular one. No, just saw a pic of it on stream. Oh, okay. Well, that's so cool, though. I had no idea. The devotions I heard today was the anniversary of Bob Ross's show. Oh, really? Oh, the joy of painting is... 40 years old? That seems roughly right. Maybe. Now, let's see. Paul is eating alligator. He is. I am a bit jelly of that. That seems like it would be a interesting thing to try. But I'm I'm surprised. I thought they had crocodiles down there. Maybe maybe it's just alligator though. I once went to so I was on a I did a mission trip, and when I was in middle school, and we did a couple cool things. One of the things we did was this was in Colorado. We went there's apparently these really big sand dunes in Colorado. If you're unaware, which makes no sense. I mean it's like you think sand dunes would be in the ocean or something, but no, it's it's in the middle of Colorado. Uh, not in the middle, it's Southern Colorado. Uh, but really, really huge. I mean, you could like sandboard or snowboard or whatever down these. They're they're massive. Especially when you're a, a small middle schooler. They're even way bigger. Anyway. Uh, but also, inexplicably, in this place in Colorado, there was an alligator or crocodile farm. I have no idea why. 
thinking back to it, it's like, why would they have an alligator farm in Colorado? Maybe I should actually focus on fighting. That might be better than just recounting stories of alligators in Colorado. But I digress. Uh, dang, I want some alligator tail now. Oh, so you, have you guys eaten alligator geek devotions and lusty for short? Okay, I think I'm poisoned. I think I'm poisoned. You've been bugged, Neo. I think you have a uh, something for antidote. The an give me the antidote. No, what's the espers? I don't know what that is. Antidote. And you too. Now do the cure. Oh, you have an ice spell? Why haven't I been using that? Silly me. I, I just didn't notice. There's nothing in it. What good is it then? Uh, Fat Picky Gig Gig says, Speaking of Colorado, you saw that old child pic- I did. Outside of Kay, I don't think any of us looked like us. Yeah, Kay did definitely look like him. I, I could see I could see you a bit. Kito's yeah, definitely not. Uh, but yeah, that makes me want to bring it up now. Wait, where did you, I, oh you sent it on the phone I think, so I won't be able to get it right now. But man, that was nuts. Wouldn't that be funny if some of these enemies were nuts? Primo bites, stop biting me, Primo. So they're like scorpions with like. Claws for their tail, I think. I think that's what that's supposed to be. I'm not sure. These versions, fried alligator tails are yummy if cooked right. Uh, let's see. It's okay. I'd rather have other meats. Also, pretty sure crocodile is only in the other countries. I could be wrong though. Really? I mean, maybe. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not a geographer, or a geologist, or a biologist, <clears throat> or a mathematician. But, okay, that's open too. Where did I even come from? Man, I'm so turned around in this cave. Don't even know where I w came from, guys. Oh, I should try the ice spell. Haha, -ha, you missed. Because you're prehistoric. I don't know why that would have anything to do with it, but hey, why not? What does ice do? Though you're blue, maybe ice wouldn't do anything to you. Whoa, that's a cool, that's a cool spell. I like that. Ha, ah, you're dead, Trilobita. Hello, Irish man. Welcome to the stream. It's been a long time, and it's honestly been a long time since I've checked out your stream. So thank you so much for hanging out for a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, countries. What have you been streaming lately, Irish man? Uh, Geek Devotion says, I saw some pics of K the other day. Now Geek Devotion is trolling me here. He looked like a Vegas like a Vegas magician. Is that why he's good at he's so good at editing? He uses magic. Yes, that must be it. Gosh. How did you know do you you're you know who we're talking about, Geek Devotions? Maybe you're not trolling me. I thought you were saying K like Agent K from Men in Black uh, was Will Smith. And he was like a Vegas magician because they're they're strangely colored in Vegas, like like Blue Man Group. Like I thought you were doing this really 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 long drawn out word association, but that, given the the editing comment you made, oh thank you so much for the bits, Irish man. Very kind of you. Uh, I guess you do know who we're, who I'm talking who K who Fat Piggy Gig Gig is talking about. A regular warrior says, how about a game where you play as a normal guy in our RPG and you go around and find who stole your stuff out of your chest? <laughs> you know what? Funny you mentioned that, uh, I, uh, regular warrior. So <clears throat> part of, um, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, I'm, they're looking for me. Uh, so I'm taking some time. To, one of the things I'm doing is I'm trying to learn the rules to this book. Let's see if you can see it. It's backwards, of course. Of course it's backwards in the camera. Well, what it says is... Let's see if I can point right. Let's see. Down here. The end of the world. 
And this is the Alien Invasion version. Anyway, it's a pen and paper RPG where you actually play as yourself in an alien invasion. So I'm trying to learn the rules so I can uh, hopefully do a, a... I'd like to GM it and do sort of a community online game with maybe some of you that I'm good friends with. Uh, like take an evening and try playing it. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I, I mean, I'd love to play it myself, but no one else seems to want to learn the rules. So I'm choosing to try to learn so that I can play with other people. Did I go this way? I'm not really sure. <clears throat> so it's just funny that you said you should play an RPG where you play as your uh, normal guy. Because in this, you are like a normal person. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. You get devotions. LOL, your code is not very good, bro. LOL, I figured it out pretty quick. I guess I gotta get a better cipher. That's what it is. There's a Facebook page that does that, LOL? What? Oh, oh really? That where you play an RPG as a normal guy? That's funny. What's the Facebook page called, uh, Raider Warrior? Let's see, that sounds like one I'd be game for. Oh, cool, okay, I'll keep you in mind, let's see. Don't know what's up here. Oh, oh, a spring, can I drink? A turtle? What is that noise? Here's the turtle. Come here, turtle. Oh, recovery spring, good. Hey, oh, oh, I bet I have to make the water recede somehow. What is going on? Huh? Something's coming out of the wall. See, doesn't that sound just like you, Lusty? What in the world is that monstrosity? Tunnel armor? I'll draw its magic attack. It won't hurt us. Come again? I can simply absorb the attack with my runic blade. Are you sure you'll be okay? Just you watch. Oh, we'll watch. Geek Devotion sounds cool. We play D&D &D and it's fun, but I'm not a huge fantasy fan, but that sounds fun. Oh, cool. Yeah, this, is, this would be very sci-fi. There's four different flavors of it, of the same game. There's Zombie Apocalypse, Alien Invasion, Rise of the Machines, and Wrath of Gods or something like that. I should probably focus on killing this thing. Uh, Rugged Warrior, it's a digger boy. Dig boy? It does look like something that would dig really deep in the side of a rock. Ching. Okay, so poison. Don't poison poison the girl, apparently, because she's absorbing it, I think is what's happening. Uh, Ricky, uh, Ricky Devotions, I'll have to find the page. I'll drop it in the Discord there. Okay, cool. And Leslie says, sure, it sounds like me. I mean, sure, it sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, I want Runic. Darn it. Oh, Nanya, potion it up. Ah. Why'd you make me double select the thing I want? Just look. I know what I'm selecting. Jeez. There you go. There you go, Celeste. You're okay. Don't worry. Runic. I just, I guess I'll just keep doing runic. Let's see what I can steal while I'm at here, guys. Couldn't steal. Well, what good are you, treasure hunter, Paulzo? Oh, runic, runic. Do the runic, because that protects me somehow, some way. I don't really get why, but it does. No, don't attack me, attack the girl. So that is healing her, that's cool. Let's use an item to heal uh, Paulzo here, because he's almost down for the count. Lil Pan the Man says, I played Star Wars Imperial Assault for the first time this week. Uh, it's a campaign RPG with miniatures and a board. It's my first attempt at tabletop RPG. Well, that's cool. Let us know how that turns out, uh, Lil Pan the Man. That sounds really fun. Are you playing as Rebels or the Empire or, or, or something else? I think there's a few different. There's probably, I think there's like a, I'm trying to think of the MMO RPG of Star Wars I feel like there's other factions, but I don't know. But, but so what are you playing as? Uh, Geek Devotion says, I want to get the Ninja High School RPG one day for nostalgic reasons. Our DM is an RPG snob, so he won't play with us if we get it. Oh, jeez. Lame. 
Uh, Rugged Warrior says, do you want to heal? Are you sure? Are you really, really sure? Tell me if you want to heal, if you really want to heal. Do you want to heal? Do you really, really want to heal? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Heal, 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 heal. Uh, do the runic. Sounds like a dance move. It does. It totally does. Little Band the Man. It's not D&D style, but it's the closest I've ever done. Pretty cool. I get devotions. Uh, I'd lose my mind with miniatures. They look cool, but so expensive to build things up. The guys at our local game shop play Warhammer. So me and Fat Piggy Gig and K and Q used to play a Warhammer 40,000. We uh, bought some of those miniatures. Uh, I don't have mine anymore. Anyway, Hello Band the Man says, we're the rebels and the GM is the Imperials. Oh, okay, cool. That's how that works. Woo, looks like we're in the clear. Wait, no, I want to go back and see the turtle. See if he's okay. Oh, oh, so that's the end of his campaign now. Okay. Choose a scenario. Gee, I wonder who I'm going to choose. Let's save it, though. Let me save. Thank you. Don't know why that was so hard, but whatever. Okay. All right. I guess this one. Let's find out what happens. Feeling the Empire's troops. Can I even remember these people's voices? <clears throat> uh, troops Bannon, Penibo, and Lasika ride the rapids toward Narshi. But the going won't be easy. Okay, so we're still on the raft. Wow, way back. Way back when. Here we go. Let's see if I can remember what these people do. Okay, you have fight. Oh yeah, you have the you have the the crossbow. The auto crossbow that kills everything. Use it. And you have Oh you heal, that's right. That's fine. You just heal. Heal us up, Bannon. And then Lasika has magic, so let's use that. That's fire. Fire, fire! <coughs> you guys don't get to watch my magic dance, my fire dance from the other guy. That's okay. I'm sure you guys will survive not seeing my fire dance every time I do the fire dance spell. Ha ha, you guys missed. And now you did. Uh, do, do, do. Look, key devotions. When I was a kid, I had a friend who had a Mog backpack. Oh, the Mog, the the white little dude. That's cool. Like, was the whole thing like its face, or there's just a picture of it on the backpack? Oh, good job, Lucica. You're getting level. Learn to drain. Oh. <clears throat> okay, which way do I have to choose? Do I have to choose a way? I'm not sure. Which way do I go? I don't know. Okay, I'm going into a cave, apparently. Oh, I'm through. Okay, cool. Well, just realized Dale's not here. Yeah, uh, Dale, Dale isn't here. May he may still come on sometime, but maybe he had something to do. He has a life outside of this. Geek Devotions. Gosh. <laughs> also, Paul should be here, but he's not. What's that about? Oh, tools. Oh, crossbow. Not really necessary, but we'll still use it regardless. Okay. Uh, there's a cave up there that I can go to. Don't know if I want to yet. Wait, is... What? Oh, wait. Did my, my people into a cave? Was that the same cave that I would have been coming out of? From the the other place, maybe. I wish I wish the this map was better like symbolized because I'm not really placing where's where. I don't know why I'm having such trouble. Let's use drain wherever that is. Health it up, Bannon. Since I didn't get to name you. Oh, cool. So you, it's like a vampire steel spell. It drains the life um, from them and gives it to you. That's cool. Uh, it looked like a mog stuffed animal, but zipper opened behind the neck to to out stuff. It was like one of those pur purse backpack things. Well, that's pretty cool. Props to that. That's nice. Mm -mm. 
Okay, so can't go any of these ways. Oof, you're finding the Donnie Darker bunnies again. Oh, yeah, I am. Totally, huh? Fortunately, they're easy to kill. They're like one shot, guys. The Leafers. The Leafers are gonna die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ba -bow, bow, bow, ba -bow. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, so this is where I started off. <clears throat> so maybe I do want to go back to that the cave up here. I don't know. Well, we'll try it. I think the cave up here is the town where you start. But we'll give it a shot. Health. And then auto crossbow to just kill everything. Let's take it all out. It's all going to die. This might as well be a minigun. And I still don't get why Panebo looks like he has droopy eyes or sunglasses. Maybe I can find some antidote thing. I'm not sure what, what he has on him. Yeah, I don't know what that... I wish it would tell me what this thing was. Yeah, the little vine thing. Maybe he's... Oh, sleepy, maybe? Maybe he's sleepy. Maybe that's what it is. So I'll see if I have an... Um, not... An item that helps with sleep. Remedy, cure sass. Elements except zombie. Cure sass. Oh, so it would cure anything. It seems like it... I'd want to say it. Well, I mean, just use it now, Francisco. Whatever. I'm sure you can buy another one. You have tons of GP, so it'll be okay. Geek Devotions. I think if you change the order of your characters when you're roaming, Sprite will change. Yes, I believe that is true. Someone told me that. I think Loomis uh, one time was telling me that, but I don't mind it being uh, the Sika. These leafers. Who, are they, who do they think they are? I got win. And I'd go around. I don't. I'm not trying to interrupt your food source if that's what you're worried about, little leafers. Okay, what is this? The, yeah, this is. Oh, oh, this is Narshi. So Narshi is the town you start with, starting at the beginning. Okay, I totally forgot about that. And this is where you can go train. Apparently, these people are fine. No issues, it looks like. Beginner, yeah, okay, good. Let's see, can I, um, oh wait, oh wait, 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 there's a little cave over here, let's see if I can get into it, maybe that's where I need to be, in this little hideout. When Pauzo first helped me, he fiddled with something right about here. Knowing him, there's probably some secret switch in this rock wall. Melon. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. It's lounge time here at Final Fantasy III Headquarters. We're listening to the soldier sounds of a bass guitar and synth. Oh, yeah. And something growling in the background. And there's the piano. Ah, we're rats. They're rats. <clears throat> Oh, the jokes from the beginning of this game. So fun. So, so fun. <laughs> Only 21 points of GP. What are these, easy guys or something? Pushovers? Is that what they are? So lit up in here. Oh, you know what? The color scheme of that cave did look like the one I was in before with Paulzo. So I'm, I'd be curious to see if it ends up being we meet up here. But then I don't know where the... Who is the other guys playing as? Uh, Adrian and Skatsenegger. I don't know where they are. Let's see. Okay. So first class. Oh. Trained by uh, Professor Xavier, I guess. Dale! We were just talking about you, Dale. How are you doing? What's up with the, with the boring DJ? Let's get jamming. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> this is lounge stuff. Come on now. Uh, Lopan the Man. Have we fully established that the music of this game is beyond amazing? You know what? It is pretty good. I'm not... I, I've enjoyed 98% of it so far. It is good. 
That's a nice little hum. No, no, no. Oh, oh, who am I gonna meet? Who am I mean? What's oh where this a light's just going. Okay. That's interesting. Goodness. What what's that? I think that this bleh. I think this is a security checkpoint. If we follow the light exactly, we'll probably be okay. If we make a mistake, the light will surround us. To proceed safely, we must tag the glimmering light. Well, I uh, I wasn't paying attention to which way it went. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh, I need to tag the glimmering light. Oh. Okay. Dark side, eh? I think we'll be okay, A. Eh? Hopefully. Maybe. Unless the owl crossbow does nothing. Uh, let's see. I've enjoyed most of the music, says Geek Devotions. Dale, even your characters agree. See them rocking? They do rock. <laughs> Geek Devotions, so a few weeks ago, you said you felt the pixel art is over detailed. Do you feel. still feel so? I'm contemplating that that question, uh, Geek Devotions. Um, Dale says, how's everyone tonight? Doing well. Thank you for asking. Okay, so let me, hold on. Okay, that way. Uh, oh my gosh, why would you do this? Okay, we'll try here. It's gonna take a couple times, I think. Ah, darn it. Okay, I think this way. Fortunately, I'm good at tagging the light. <laughs> so that's helpful. Aha! <laughs> that's not a very, very secure security measure. Uh, okay, so do I think the pixel detail is a bit too detailed or over detailed yeah i still feel that way but i think it's weird because i feel like the the characters are detailed perfectly they're detailed really well uh, for the style they're going for i feel like the backgrounds are made are yeah a bit too there's too much too many colors i think that's what it is they're trying to make too many color put too many colors in pack too many colors into the different things like these rocks there's let's see there's the light blue uh a sort of a grayish red a dark grayish red then then a, a pretty dark gray then a black so and oh wait and then there's sort of a lighter gray for the sort of minimal the less the sort of light lit sides there's like six or six maybe seven colors in there and i don't think you need that many to represent rocks i mean right now as i look at it, it's just like really really busy looking i feel like it could have been simplified a lot um but if they're trying to go for something that looks a bit grungier or just more like i guess what rock would look like then they're succeeding but i feel like for uh a game especially one that sort of i think feel is supposed to be modeled off anime it's it's going a bit too much so there's there's my opinion on it. I love the man. This and FF7 are my top two Final Fantasy music, but they are so different. It's hard to really compare. That's yeah, that's a good point. Plus, FF7 was like full orchestration, I think. Um, you guys are talking about how you guys are doing. Good deal, good deal. Four hours late, but we got. <laughs> oh, about the Geek Devotion. Yes, it's okay, Geek Devotions. Yes, and go check out uh, Geek Devotion's uh, latest devotion on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which I've never watched that anime, but I'm I watched some of the devotions. Haven't finished it yet, uh, but definitely go check that out over on YouTube. Search Geek Devotions. Uh, let's see, pretty good. Got back from a concert. Oh, cool. Yeah, who did you see, uh, Dale? If you say Switchfoot, I'm gonna be so jealous. 
Because that's my favorite band. Hmm, now which way do I go? Not sure. Rebo Man and Vibrate. Oh no, how will I ever last against these guys? It's gonna be so difficult. Oh, wait a second, it's not. <laughs> Pride before the fall, much? Maybe. We'll see. What's in here? More cave, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna meet up with Paulzo in here. Don't let me check out what's down here first. Uh, did I just take a big circle around? No, I don't think so. Fight, health, tools, auto, auto crossbow. Do that, please. Let's see. Geek Devotions, do you think that there were trying to get closer to the detail of the character profiles? Probably. Because I feel like the character profiles, those are overly done. I'll go to the menu here just to look at them. Yeah, I feel like they're... Paniba's pretty good. Not too, too bad. Um, but Bannon's hair is like, man, really like overly, overly detailed. I think you get, you take one color away from that and you're, you're in a lot better place. I feel like Panibo only has three main colors for his hair. That's why it looks better. Lasika's is pretty good too. That's only three. It looks like three main colors. There is an outline, but I'm not counting, counting that one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's like five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's like five with Bannon's hair. That's a bit ridiculous. And I'm not sure why. Why they're doing that. I know the, the illustrations like on the covers of Final Fantasy boxes. Not FF3, but uh, later ones and earlier ones. Especially the, the updated ones. They're very detailed and illustrative. Illustrative. So they're probably trying to emulate that. But I feel like... This is probably at a time where you're like, oh, we got to make it look as as much like the, the illustration as possible, not realizing that pixel art is a different type of art form, and you actually want to do different things to convey a better looking piece. In my in my humble opinion, I mean, I'm not an expert, but that's, that's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. That is a stamp of approval in case you didn't know. Okay, um, do do do. Low pain the man. Fingers crossed. Britney Spears or Michael Bolton. Okay. <laughs> Is that who you would be hoping to see, Low pain the man? Uh, the profile pics were always odd to me. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Dale, a uh, known popular, a uh, popular preacher in town, Price Harris, puts on a night of praise filled with uh, Gaither style artists hosted by his home church in town. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Geek Devotions. Chrono Trigger did a better job, yes, of making profile pics that aren't ridiculous, but so, yes, I agree. You got to see Switch in October? Oh my gosh. Is that was that their um have was that the start of their Native Tongues tour? I think that's what the tour is called. Or was that a tour from their last album? But man, that's awesome. Okay, so I got that treasure. Oh, so that's why the treasure chests were open already, because I went through the cave already. Pincers? Why are you pincing me? Don't pince me. I pinch you. Yeah, I guess I'll just fight. Health. Good, I needed some health on me. Hmm. Bannon gained a level. In case you weren't watching, he did. And it was glorious. Why was it glorious, you ask? Don't ask questions. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I thought it would say it was glorious. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I think I'm going to save over Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Adrian! Uh, why does Bannon look like Nick Nolte's mugshot? <laughs> now that's a great question, Dale. I think Nick Nolte um, was still in vogue during the early 90s. So I think that mugshot came out in the late 90s or the early 2000s. So I don't know why it's inspired by that, but it sure does look like it. But 
it's too funny. Uh, and Kids Motions. I think the last concert I went to was either uh, Curvine or Deciphered Down. And I don't think I've heard of either of those. But cool, how were they? The last concert I went to was uh, Search for a Concert, but that was way back in 2014. Christy took me to their... That was their... Um, oh, not Feeding West. Feeding West? Was that it? I think that was called actually Fading West Tour. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But that was a while ago. Uh, before before their Native Tongue stuff. Oh, okay. So it was before that. And then uh, Lopan Men hanging out for t the night. Sorry, I haven't been around. Oh, no. You don't have to apologize. Totally fine, Lopan Men. I appreciate when you're able to hang out. Totally get me having to go, though. Uh, let me pray for you for always streaming for us. Aw, oh, you demand, Lopan the Man. You want to pray for a little pin man? Oh, sure. I'd love to do that. <clears throat> okay, let me get in camera because that's important. Dear God, uh, I want to pray for a little pin the man that he have an amazing weekend with his kids and family and wife. And that was kind of redundant, but I'm a coward. Do I know? He, <laughs> uh, but Lord, thank you for him being here tonight. And uh, yeah, please may he have an awesome weekend. And. Uh, help him in, oh, his beating stuff. May have fun doing any new beating projects he's doing. Okay, amen. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but thanks for being here, uh, Love Hand the Man, and have a, have a good one. Uh, Keith Russians, Love Curvine, his last album literally made me cry. Oh, wow, man. Decipher Down is always great, and you should look him up on YouTube. Maybe I will, but maybe I won't. Actually, now, you know, you're saying Decipher Down. That does sound more and more familiar now that you're saying it. I feel like I have heard that name before. Wait. Oh, my gosh. I left. Did I literally just leave the cave that I just went into? Wow. Wow is what I have to say to that. Francisco, Francisco, Francisco. I thought you knew what to do. But apparently you didn't. Apparently you didn't. Oh, man, man, that's hilarious. I'll never have a prayer this. I'll never hear a prayer this again. <laughs> Glad you appreciate that, little bit, man. Happy to do it. Yeah, me too. Yes, of course you were calculus. What do you mean, of course I was? Because you're you like being on camera. Well, yeah, but okay, you can be quiet now. Oh, fine. Yeah, not low the man. Uh, Dale says, are Curvine and Cipher Christian artists? That's what style of music do they generally play? Oh my gosh, Cool Deluxe is into house. I don't know if uh, if uh, Fat Piggy Gig -gig is still here, uh, Cool Deluxe, but he was here a little bit ago. No, oh, thanks for the heart and the awesome retro heart there. Cool Deluxe. If you are uh, a sub, feel free to spam that heart emote. Let's, let's, oh, that's what we could do. If Lil Panda Man's still around, we can share some uh, retro love with him. But how are you doing tonight, uh, Q? And then, uh, Gage Versions, yep, Curvine is rap. Curvant is rap. Decipher down is rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my rap. Oh, I thank you so much for the biddies. Cool deluxe. Very, very kind of you. And I'm just trying to. I'm trying not to go where I've been already. Actually, I'm trying to find out where I need to go. I keep getting confused. Ha ha! I pen them in. Wah ha ha ha! That's what you get for fighting me. Or something. Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing all right. Off on a trip this weekend. Oh, where are you going? Final Fantasy is going pretty good, except I keep getting lost and turn around and not sure where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> but you know, that's that's how it goes. 
Oh, so this is the is this the room that I'm supposed to do the the Oh no, this is different. I thought this was the light room thing. But no, this is a different room. Yeah, I'm I'm completely forgetting where I'm supposed to be. Oh, okay, here we go. Mogs? Whoa. What's with all these mogs? Dale says, that's a wrap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a trip to Vegas? Not quite Vegas. Reno. <laughs> Kobo. Pikachu. Kobo. 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 Okay. That's interesting. Let's see. Um. Yeah, what what are all these guys doing down here? So strange. They're just like hanging out. Don't mind us. We're just mogs down here. Alright, I guess I'll go this way. Oh, this goes through. Okay. Treasure. Nice. Good. I like me some treasure. Rune Edge. Ooh. <clears throat> Who gets that? Who gets the Rune Edge? Let's see. Apparently, Lissika gets the Rune Edge. Taking in a magic show? I don't think he's actually going to Vegas or Reno, guys. Man. You silly. You silly guys. Oh, oh, oh. Where am I now? Where is this? I feel like I was here before. I'm so confused, guys. <laughs> I am so turned around. They are, you got, they are funny. Tahoe? Oh, 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 here's what we can do. We can guess where in the world is Cool Deluxe going. Where in the world is Cool Deluxe going? <clears throat> so we have Tahoe. It's not Vegas. Uh, Reno, Tahoe. I'm going to guess... San Diego. I'm going to go San Diego. Get your guesses in while the guessing's hot. See, okay, I was there already because I saved right there. I uh, wish I could remember where, where I was going to go. So here's my plan, guys. I'm going to play till I get, till I find Palzo or get out of this cave or something. Till I get, to, I'm going to play until I get to like a legitimate stopping point, and then I'm going to uh, be done for the night. But we'll see when where that is. Uh, let's see. Key torsion. Quick. Someone Facebook stock. <laughs> San Francisco to eat some rice aroni. San Francisco treat. I'm guessing, uh, East LA. Wow. Regular. Is this a blind playthrough? Uh, yes. I mean, you can, if you, if you want, if, if I ask for help, by all means, feel free to help me. Don't be like, no, 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 Francisco. We're not going to give you help. You said you didn't want to. You wanted this to be a blind playthrough. You know you're asking for help. We're not gonna give you help. Okay, maybe I did want to go out this way. Does this go into a shop? Okay, it does. Oh, so this is the back, the way to go back. Maybe I did just want. Maybe this is the way to go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Arvis? I don't think I have a voice for Arvis. Well, General Francisco voice. Bannon, King Panibo, and La Sica. Arvis, what's happening here in Nashi? The town's neutral. I've tried to get the people to side with the returners, but anyway, why on earth have you come here? First, how are, how are your people doing? They all went slightly berserk when the Esper, disco the Esper was discovered. We believe this young woman is our only hope of reaching out to that Esper. My people are doing, are dying to know what the Esper looks like. Maybe Lasika can help restore some order to our town. What's up, Panibo? What are you thinking about? That Esper is either going to save us or dig us an early grave. Am I picking another character now? What's happening? 
The three have reached Narshi. The, the other ha the other guys have? I didn't realize that. I didn't see them reach Narshi. <coughs> and a decisive battle is about to take place. Uh oh. What does that mean? Oh, these three. Okay. I understand all of it, except how can we in be encouraging bloodshed? I never said that. Something like it. Ha, he's right, you know. Lassie, California. <laughs> no more specific than that. <laughs> Good guess, Lassie. Good guess. Bannon. Our blood will spill because of you. Emperor Gestalt's racing to acquire Magitech power. He sets his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of Magitech power surely lead to global destruction. Dale says, Ronda Rousey's about to manhandle three dudes. <laughs> Is that who it looks like? Um, <laughs> our geek distortions, uh, mean DM is rolling and everyone dies. <laughs> What'd you roll? Natural training. No, well, you got a minus 19 aspect to that, so sorry. You got one. Uh, along with several others. Our spoiler, at the end of the game, you fight the final boss. Oh my gosh, Rugged. Why are you spoiling it for me? Oh my gosh. Jeez. You mean you're ending like a diplomatic, uh, a diplomatic uh, peace arrangement? Gosh. I'm still hoping for that. The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can this really be happening? People will never learn. All right, no, that was an elder voice. Whoops. Oh, well. Brother. Oh, here we go. Scott Seneca. Brother. Mm -hmm. Scott Seneca, you're all right. Who's with you? I'm Adrian, retired to the Lord of Doma. Aki Torsen says, Gah, game ruined. Might as well move on to the next game. Yeah, psh, let me yeah, reset. Let's play Metro, Super Metroid. Blanca, Gav. The people of Doma were wiped out by my empire. By the empire. Gav got poisoned everyone. Barbaric. Elder. But what was only because Domo was collaborating with the Returners? If we make that mistake. Aw, thank you so much for the bits, Lesty. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, game ruined. Oh, you know, uh, Dale says, I heard all Oranda is playing Sonya in Mortal Kombat's 11th game? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh, or, or heard something in that vein. That's cool. I had no idea. <coughs> like, so they're doing the rotoscoping based on hers, what you mean? That's nonsense. Oh, here's Pauza coming in. Pauza. The Empire's poised to attack Narshi right now. What? Pauza, where'd you hear that? Celeste here was one of the Empire's generals. Girl, I knew she seemed familiar. So block her out of my way. Bill. This General Celeste, she tortured Miranda. She's an Emperor spy. No sense aside, she drew first blood. Wait, Celeste was joined the Returners. She's fighting with us now. But... I promise I'd protect her. I will not back out on my word. Paulzo, are you still thinking about that? The Royal Rumble. There's going to be a beatdown. <laughs> I was also an Imperial soldier. What? Adrian! Or Adrian, because I spelled it wrong. The Empire is evil. But not all of its citizens are. Mm -mm. 
Oh, this is... Emergency! Vampire cometh! Ah. I don't care what you do here, just get me that Espar! Hehehe! <laughs> Lord Kefka, there are civilians here! Exterminate everyone! But Narshi is neutral! Idiot! Read my lips! Dispose of anyone who opposes us! Much! Oceans. So much soap opera drama and political commentary. <laughs> For sure. For sure. We really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. They're after the Aspa. We moved it into the hills. Then we're going up after it. <laughs> Look at that line of heroes. Polzo has a complicated past. I went... Oh, I'm a soldier, not some love stop twit. Cold as ice. I missed the dialogue, darn it. That looked like it was fun, too. We represent the law of <laughs> Pop Guild. So you're born with the power of magic? Isn't it a lovely gift? You you can use magic, too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as magic tech knight. <laughs> so you, Celeste. <laughs> Have you loved anyone? What? <laughs> huh? What's what's that supposed to mean? I mean, there's Dallas. I love him. Don't think for a moment I trust you. Fine. Use your own eyes and decide. Hello, oh, so southern. <laughs> exactly. Oh, look at this. Three hundred. Oh, uh, look at this 300 uh, Thermopylae uh, portrait. There's a bear joke in there, but I lost it. Oh, I, I can move. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, let's save for sure. Save point. Okay, I think I think we'll save it. We'll hold it there on a cliffhanger. Uh, let's see. I'll save over. Yeah, this this one. Let's see here. Is this the one with the opera? I I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that's FF8, says Geeks Versions. Dale, frankly, I don't care for Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> what? Which one's Jean-Claude Van Damme? Let's see. Prepared? No. Oh, whoops. Prepared? No. Uh, I didn't realize I was switching with guys. Let's be Schwarzenegger. I'm ready for the fight. Okay, I'm not. But so we're gonna end there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a lot of fun. Really, really glad to get to stream for you all. Uh, and some Final Fantasy three. Looking forward to what the the story, how the story continues. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be playing at uh, four thirty a.m. Pacific. So that's 7.30 p.m. 7.30 a.m. Eastern. 5.30 Mountain. 6.30 Central. I think that's all the time zones. Uh, let's see. Think about the Gone with the, Gone with the Wind line. I've never seen Gone with the Wind, Dale. Uh, Geek Versions, yeah. Uh, all he does is remake Bloodsport over and over again. Uh, have a good night, friends. So you too, uh, Q. Thanks for being here, and thanks for the, again for the bits. Uh, Ellen and I, bro, great stream. Thank you so much, Geek Devotion. So glad you're here. Wow, 4.30 a.m.? That's awesome. If I'm up, I'll watch. Sweet. And then, uh, Dale says, night, John Boy. John Boy? Oh, yeah, I do. Well, good night, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Good night, Rugged and Dale. And Cool Deluxe, and, uh, who else? Geek Devotions, and Lusty. Oh, you know what, Francisco, you did an awesome Lusty impression, I thought. Here, I'll do it. Can I do my Lusty? Uh, sure. Calculus, you can do your Lusty. Well, all right. So this is me in person, and Lusty Mora. She is an amazing uh, woman. I'm so glad she's friends with me and Francisco, and your 
accent is going terribly right now, Cactus. Why would you make fun of me like that? Oh, uh, we're almost done, Christy. Sorry. I, I think I have to go now. Well, bye bye, everyone. Mm -hmm. oh. You forgot Hawaiian time? <laughs> Sorry, Rugged. And Alaska. Yes, I don't know what those are. <laughs> okay, have a good night, you guys. Thanks for being here. And uh, we'll catch you next time on the next stream, either tomorrow morning or Monday. Bye. Oh, and here is your stream face. <laughs>